What's up everyone, welcome to today's video, welcome to the Video Game Five School channel, thank you very much for tuning in. So Middle Earth Shadow of War is a game that I put on my back burner for a while, but there is something quite remarkable about this game in regard to 8K gaming and its scaling, and I'm quite surprised to have found it. I never got to play the game because apparently, my wife being the most responsible one out of both of us said not to play it in front of our little kids, and I was like, yeah, you know, I never thought about that. And the game flew under my radar. I played Shadow of War for a while, but I never got to beat that either because apparently I just felt a little lost after everything. But here we are. Uh, Shadow of Mordor has some really interesting settings for its video scaling, and it actually allows for you to be able to scale even higher than 4K. Now, apparently, Nvidia is claiming with their DSS technology that they can actually support or your 4090 can support both 4K gaming and also 4K capture. So this is something that I was like, there's no, this is crazy that this is available in a game that released in 2014 in regard to the scaling. I think the developers just unlocked the resolution for you to be able to go gung ho. So we're going to go ahead and give it a try regarding that setting. Um, I have just the 4K monitor. So those of you who are actually into this technology, because I've been learning a lot from here, I'm making this video because I want you guys to comment below. I want you guys to you know, fill me in as to how this works. I'm also locking the FPS at 60 so that we can get well. I, tr I let's see if uh, we can do it with no limit. I tried recording this video yesterday and my microphone switched to my headset microphone and caught no audio at all. So that was kind of uh, awkward. Um, so let's go ahead and allow for the settings to basically take effect. And for those of you who may want to see some of the metrics, I forgot before again, once I did this again, uh, let's launch MSI after burner so that we can, you know, take full advantage of getting to see a lot of the different metrics surrounding this game. So River Tuna, there you are. Um, and then let's go ahead and let's fire up the game. So we're going to go ahead and see how this actually works. We're going to see how the game runs. And I'm sure all of this is probably going to be um, very interesting to see together. So FPS at 8K is going upwards of maybe showing about 90 FPS um, and the GPU utilization at this point is at 98%. I don't think I've seen a game do this just yet. Um, and I don't know if we're even CPU bound even. Um, this CPU is a 7950 uh, Ryzen 9. And so I don't necessarily see much of an issue. I don't know. I think locking at 60 FPS is probably going to be the best bet for us. That way we're not having too many issues. But you never know. Let's see what goes on here. Um... Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, more, more bad guys. Let's see how this all goes. I don't know, man. This is crazy. Uh, this guy just hit me with a projectile weapon. Don't you just love this projectile, guys? There's another one. Uh -uh. There's, there are two projectile guys here. They want to kill me. Uh, uh, uh. Man, this is crazy that this, you know, equipment can do this stuff. So, I, I mean, for a creator, I see where this this card comes in the market, you know. But in terms of, like, what it is that the card is capable of doing, I mean, I, I'm just amazed that the card is able to do this, number one. And number two, the game is able to support this because not many new games even want to support stuff like this. I'm sure games like Spider-Man and stuff, you know, you, you have that capability, but for a game from 2014, it seems like these developers, they kind of saw the future. I cannot wait for Wonder Woman, man. I'm telling you, this, uh, you know, this team over at uh, Monolith, man, they've got some really cool stuff going. And I don't know many of you, if you've seen the, the way they actually do their, you know, development process and some of their pipelines. That was actually revealed slightly. I mean, it just showed some stuff about their studio uh, in a Linus Tech video. So if you haven't necessarily watched that Linus Tech video, I recommend that you go ahead and do so because, man, that was so cool uh, when they did that. Let's put the max FPS at 60. That way we just get a smooth experience all the way. It, it's spiking all the way up to like 50, you know, to 65, 70 and all. So that's all cool and dandy. But, man. 
this is going to be really interesting. I'm probably going to cut this video, you know, a little short, but I wanted to go ahead and test this here and ca capture my audio before I run to work. There's a Karagor. I'll fight it, but they're really, they're really wonderful beasts, if you know what I mean. All right, guys, come on here. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey. I don't know. I watched the game developer conference surrounding um, Shadow of War, and uh, they were talking about their process and all that stuff. And um, it was really interesting to see, you know, how they went ahead to do a lot of multi, um, multi core threading for a lot of their different processes. And it was so cool. I, I really did enjoy it. Uh, the talk anyways. And, you know, you could tell that there were just a lot of interesting and passionate people who were very well meticulous about their game uh, in, in regard to how they put it all together. So that was actually pretty seriously cool to see that, you know, the team already had, you know, at the back of their mind anyways, some foresight in looking at their game and how their game performed and talking about like the old systems where they developed uh, you know, I think Shadow of War made its way to the PlayStation 4, didn't it? I got it on PC. I didn't. It was 2017. Yeah, I mean, duh. There was no, <laughs> there were, <laughs> there were no new generation consoles then. So yes, um, the game did make its way to PC. And if you if you can tell, a lot of the turnaround times regarding games like these is something that you know you can actually go ahead and take a look at in terms of like how fast they go ahead and bring out these games. And I can tell you for sure that it's very it's it's amazing how these developers were able to ship games very fast in regard to like time and you know short schedules three years they were able to bring out a sequel but games are much you know simpler then in my opinion man not all of this stuff that we have today my controller is trash by the way uh -uh, uh -uh. that is so cool that they do a double counter where the wraith comes out you know it's so interesting to see Mm. I'm not going to be able to beat all these guys. I mean, they're just going to keep coming because I just basically attacked their four. Did I just see a bees hive there? Mm. Mm -mm. Mm. Let me see if I can do something cool. Here. Oh, there it is. Uh, a general. Scorch the caveborn. Okay, what are you going to do? Honestly, the nemesis system is really interesting overall. Let me see if, he like, if he's afraid of bees. Mm. Is he afraid of Karagors? Someone's trying to hit me. Uh, uh. Someone's trying to hit me. Let me see if I can keep draining him. Is he afraid of Karagors? Is he, does he, is he affected by this? Oh. I want to take him out before the caragor gets me. Oh no! Ah. Yeah. Get him again. I think he's a, I think he's vulnerable to take down. Oh! Come on, caragor! Don't see me! Don't see me! Don't see me! Let's do it again. Oh, I got him! <laughs> got him! RB pickup. And then let's get out of here. All right, guys, that's it for me. I just wanted to go ahead and check this out. I'm sure you guys were paying attention to the metrics. And I'm sure that you guys are probably going to basically, you know, give me some feedback as to how all of this goes. So thanks so much for watching the video. I appreciate you guys' time and audience. And hopefully we'll talk pretty soon in another one. Peace out.